Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well and staying safe. In this video, I'm going to be going over how to download and install old games, in this instance, LEGO Creator Knights Kingdom, onto your computer to play it. To start off, we first need to go and download the actual game itself. And for that, whenever I want to download games, I go to archive.org. Archive.org. Inside of archive.org, it is an open source free, um, it's an internet archive. <laughs> so uh, in this instance, I'm going to go to software. Under software, I'm going to all software. From here, you can see that there's a ton of games that they have, that people have uploaded throughout the years. Um, DOS games, classic games like this. So in my instance, I want to look up Lego Creator Knights Kingdom. So I'm going to go to this search bar and enter Lego Creator Knights Kingdom. Press enter. And then from here, it's going to fetch the data and return a reply. Uh, from here, you just kind of have to pick and choose which ones look viable. Um, in this instance, I'm going to choose this one right here. As you can see, this is the uh, cover of the game. And then we have it by LEGO Media. Um, yes, it has the information right here. So what we want to do is download and install the ISO image. So just click on the download button. And it's going to save this to your uh, computer. I already have this um, op downloaded on my computer, so I'm going to skip this step. But you're just going to have to download it, wait for it to install. And because it's an ISO image, it means it's a disk that's been put into a software format. We need to get an ISO reader. Um, for this, you can open a new tab, and then in my instance, what I use is something called Power ISO. So I'm going to do a search for Power ISO, and then inside of here, you can either download from the website or from CNET. Um, side note: for the free version of Power ISO, my anti-malware software Malwarebytes has flagged this as a potentially unwanted pop-up. But I've been using this for a while now, and I haven't had any viruses installed, so uh, use at your own risk. You can use Power ISO or any sort of alternative ISO download. Just a, just a forewarning. Um, so in this case, you're just going to download and install for whatever version you're using, either 32-bit or 64-bit, and then just go through the instructions to install it. It's pretty straightforward. Um, in this instance. So now that I have it downloaded on my computer, I'm actually going to go and uh, open it up. So let me go to where I have it downloaded. Under Lego Knights Kingdom. This is Lego Creator KK. Um, so to download or to open up this disk, what you want to do is right click on it, um, click on Power ISO, and then what you want to do is mount the disk to your drive. As you can see, I already have it mounted. That's why this is pre-populated. But this would say drive E, no media. So you just click on here to mount it. Um, and in this case, I guess you can mount it to drive F. See if it does anything. Yeah, so see it's mounted to drive E and drive F. And the same thing, if you just go to, um, you just go to this PC. You can see that it's mounted on drive E and drive F respectively. It's the same disk, it just mounted on two different ones. Uh, in this case, you're going to want to right click and just uh, open in new window. So inside of here, what you have is the uh, contents of the drive itself. So you have the startup, the setup, config file, and the setup.exe. In this instance, because this is a 32-bit um, game that I'm running on a 64-bit machine, I'm going to be right clicking on setup and I'm going to go to my properties on compatibility. This is what for older games specifically you need to have enabled. Um, so because this is an old game <laughs> from the 2000s, uh, you would want to use something like service pack two or service pack three. Uh, if you have windows seven, it did work pretty well in it. Um, 
but you can also choose any of these earlier versions as well um probably even vista uh but yeah just choose any one of these that you believe would be good like xp or seven are good for what i've done and then you always want to run it as an administrator so then uh you just click apply click ok then you want to double click on this uh yeah sorry so double click on this whoops whoops right click on this and go to run as administrator i guess it doesn't do it by default so you click yes gonna go through this setup i have already have this installed so um it's actually gonna probably uninstall the game which is fine i'll just reinstall it right quick so the game is now uninstalled right click run as administrator yes it's not going to reinstall the game <laughs> so you click yet next yes you can give it any sort of destination you want i'm just going to keep it as is next next it's going to go through the installation process because it's an ssd it shouldn't take too long um plus it's only like a 357 megabyte game so it's not too too big compared to these other ones uh, you might get this because it's direct media installer. It's fine. Just click OK. And yeah, you're going to get this error as well. Just click OK. You can either restart your computer now or do it later. I'm going to do it mine later simply because I'm going to show you what's next. But feel free to restart if you want. Following this, I'm going to go to my bootcamp. Under bootcamp, I'm going to go to my program files. Under program files, you can see that there's something called Lego Media right here. I'm going to um, and you can double click on here and it's going to be under constructive Lego Creator Knights Kingdom and as you can see Lego Creator Knights Kingdom is here on the computer uh, by default you can just you know double click double click on this or click on this run as administrator and it'll run um, but there is actually a package that uh, most people use and it's open source on github they can download to help enhance older games access to newer API graphical APIs. Um, so I'm going to open up my browser real quick and show you that. So if you open up your browser and you type in DG Voodoo 2, this is going to be a download on GitHub right here. What this will do is it'll enhance old games like Direct 3D and others to the more modern uh, DirectX versions. So you can just do uh, whichever one you want. So in this case, I'm going to do the DG Voodoo to this one right here. Save file. Save it on my desktop. And because this is on GitHub, GitHub does search for all malware and everything. So you can know for a fact that this is secure. This is not sort of um, this is not some sort of like malware infested software it's all completely clean what is going on oh okay oh, okay that's why so open once you have it downloaded you want to right click and uh if you don't have when war downloaded um it should just be in a zip archive so just right click and extract it to your uh, downloads double click on here once you have it downloaded what you want to do is basically copy this and that's it so right click copy or control C then you want to go to your Lego folder so C program x86 media constructive creator Knights kingdom and then you want to place it where this execute build is right here, allow, and then you also want to paste it inside the 3D control. So you want to have two different ones, one for this and one for the 3D control. The reason being, uh, LEGO Creator Knights Kingdom is a very <laughs> unique game. It uses Creator KK as a default um, executable, but actually all the 3D rending happens inside of here with SS Watch and SS3D which in case you can't tell, I'm kind of working on a side project for it. <clears throat> Anyways, so once you have DG Voodoo installed, um, copy it over. You want to right click and do run as administrator, accept. Then you, all you want to do is click on this dot and the backslash is going to automatically locate the current directory. 
and press OK. Same as it will create a configuration file like so. The same thing with 3D control. Right click on DG Voodoo, run as administrator. Yes. Wait for it to pop up. But dot with backslash and press OK. OK, another config file. And that is all that you need to have installed for this game to run. Now, if I wanted to play this game, I can. Um, uh, but just to be on the safe side, I'm going to right click on Creator KK, go to Properties, Compatibility. Inside of here, I want to run this game as a compatibility for Service Pack 3, and I want to run it as an administrator. Click Apply, click OK, double click on Creator KK, yes, and then this happens. But, so that's basically how you download and run old games on your computer. Um, yep. Uh, thank you for watching, and hope you have a great rest of your day.